right? Like I was, I've been wanting to have these kind of these hard conversations with people. I've been leaning into these things. And so this idea that like, you can't sit down with people that you don't 150% agree with on everything is, is, is Bruce Lawn. I'm going to give you guys three reasons why we're going to continue having guests on that are not from our ecosystem, because this is going to keep happening, by the way. Okay. Some of you guys don't know this. We this channel really got its bump by bump. I mean, like, wow, I crossed 10,000 subscribers, 15,000 subscribers by me having conversations with people who uh aren't Christian sometimes and uh, sometimes they're baby Christian, sometimes they don't know. So if you go back to 2019, I had a conversation with brand man Sean, who does not make Christian content. He would probably profess to be a Christian now. I had him on the channel. He, he's been on my channel. I've been on his channel, good friend of mine. Okay. We had China Mac on pull up his Instagram. Matter of fact, don't pull up his Instagram. <laughs> okay. We had China Mac on who's coming back on the channel who I shared the gospel with while I interviewed him. Ironically enough, Foggy Raw was in the room. I had Foggy Raw on. Don't pull up his Instagram if you're afraid of profanity. Okay. And he'll be back on again. We had Tracy Lee on, who was one of my favorite rappers from the nineties. Amazing interview I had from him with, with Tracy Lee that ended up popping off. I had Wendy Day on who is not a Christian and cussed up a storm in the interview and added a lot of value in terms of the, the, the demographic I was speaking to, which was a lot of artists. And so we're going to continue having conversations with people that may not be Christians and telling them about Jesus. Okay. We're, we're going to continue having conversations with Christians, uh, with, with creators that maybe are new Christians. We're going to continue having conversations with people that maybe are Christians, but don't uh, make Christian content and Christian media. Hey, you want to see something crazy? Over 51% of the people who watch this channel are not subscribed. Do me a favor. Please hit that subscribe button and hit the bell notification so you don't miss anything we have going here. I appreciate you. We're going to continue having these conversations. Why? Okay. Number one, believe it or not, there's actually value to be gleaned from the audience in a way where you can learn how someone that's not like you thinks. It's helpful for you to, to understand how Dax thinks about church and God and religion because it's probably a bunch of Daxes in your life and you don't know how to approach them and you don't know what is it like. That's, that's a good thing. So one, you get to learn, right? Two, we get to share the gospel with them. I get to share the gospel with them which I did in all those interviews. And three, it's a great way to build relationships with people that are probably not going to be as likely to sit down and talk to me about Jesus for 30 minutes or an hour unless there's something where they can come on and, and share what they're doing. So this isn't Ruslan has sold out. Ruslan's been having conversations with people he, does, he doesn't agree with on everything for years before anyone really cared. And we're going to continue doing that. And we're going to continue leaning into our conversation. And I don't care if it's NF. I don't care if it's whoever, right? Like, we'll we'll sit down. Now, there are some people that I will not sit down with. I'm not sitting down with a Nick Fuentes, okay? I'm not <laughs> sitting down with a Kanye. I'm not sitting down with, right, right, like... The, not sitting down with a Kanye. I'm not, not, not right now. Like, uh, Kanye would need to get stable and in, in church. But and he back. watched 21 Jump Street. He's back in the good graces. <sighs> yeah, no, I'm not sitting down with Kanye. Right? And okay. I think anyone sitting down with Kanye right now, that's more exploitive of Kanye. I don't think that, uh, that helps fair. Kanye. And so there are certain people that are not uh, that I'm not going to sit down with, right? I, I do have boundaries. Hey, you may not know I make music, but I have a brand new song that just came out. Here's a quick preview. In a moment, I gotta overcompensate. I build a tabernacle. That's why the world is rubbernecking. Eve one in the Adam's apple. Whoa there. Why you want to go there? Time to shut the door because we letting out all the cold air. <laughs> Yo, Double R back, baby. It's not for Rolls Royce. It's for Rap Ruslan. Let's get it. So hit the link in the description or go to ruslantothemoon.com to stream now. I'll see you over there. Why you want to go there? But there are uh, there are other people that I'm going to sit down with that I'm going to strongly disagree on, right? Like we might have Greg Locke on the channel who I strongly disagree on some stuff with. And so there's no need to play the comparison game. There's no need to play with, you sat down with X, Y, and Z, but you don't like X, Y, and Z. No, 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 no. That's not how any of this works. And the people you guys think I don't like are people that I've attempted to build a relationship with that I had to set boundaries with, right? Like I had to set boundaries with people. So let's not play the, oh, I, you, you do this, but you're soft on this. No, 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 no. I was supposed to sit down with Chandler Moore back in 2021, 
right? Like I was, I've been wanting to have these kind of these hard conversations with people. I've been leaning into these things. And so this idea that like, you can't sit down with people that you don't 150% agree with on everything is, is, is crazy. Like that's an insane level of complete detachment from the real world. And that you, and, and, the, and the idea that you don't see the value of sitting down with people that uh, may not be Christian, maybe new Christians, or just maybe Christians I completely disagree with, and maybe they're not in the Christian space, uh, we're going to keep leaning into these conversations, right? Foggy was here the other day. I don't agree with the way Foggy makes his music. Foggy's probably going to come on the channel again at the, at the complete, uh, ignoring all the, 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 <laughs> the PR in his life. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like he's going to come and sit down on a channel, which is, which is a risk for, for these folks. Like they don't, th there's a risk there. I would sit down with Dante Bo. I've reached out to Dante Bo, right? Anyone that's, er I, that, that I've, ever mentioned publicly i can't think of a single person whether it's mike todd stephen furtick dante Bo, chandler moore some of the other folks from maverick who are by the way huge fans of the channel but are afraid to say so <laughs> i've talked to i've reached out to all these folks i've reached out to all these folks and i and i will continue reaching out to anybody uh because i'd rather talk to people than at people and one of the things i'm really trying to do is be better at talking even when i'm talking about someone talking about them in a way where i would talk to them if they were in the room if that making sense like i'm not just gonna yell at people if i'm not uh if i wouldn't speak to them in the same tone that i would and so and that goes for nf that goes for for anybody and so i want to build bridges uh this is gonna sound spooky and and some of you guys are gonna be like ah, i got a i got a word over a year ago um from one of the folks in our church that's an elder that like he sees me in in what i'm doing as a bridge as a bridge across multiple worlds that don't really come together and so i just want you guys to know like uh i'm not backing down i'm probably going to double down and there's probably going to be folks here that are that you're uncomfortable with and there you may hear language you're uncomfortable with you may hear topics you're uncomfortable with we'll do our best to censor it and clean it up for when we drop the clips uh but th th this is going to continue happening and, and and in my opinion that's a good thing this is not a pulpit it's not the podcast is not a pulpit. The YouTube channel is not the pulpit. That's right. So it's going to be conversational. It's, it's, there's not going to be the same standard. And Tim, in the Tim Ross podcast, he emphasized a lot of people thought they would like him like they do when he's in the pulpit, but it's different. Yeah. There, there's no there's no standard. I mean, there's there's a standard, but there's no uh, it's not the same standard as the pulpit that it is on the podcast. Mm -hmm. And so... Yeah, it's just not going to be, it's not going to be the pulpit. Don't expect it to be. Yeah. Hey, this clip is from our daily after party stream. If you enjoyed it, consider signing up for our Patreon community for only $5 a month. Will you get access to the replays of our daily after party streams, as well as the uncut extended versions of our podcast, Discord access that's private, and a discount code for our merch store only five dollars a month and ultimately it's the best way to help us conceptualize the gospel of jesus using media podcasting and of course youtube the link for that is in the description or in the pinned comment the perks are amazing you should get on there it's only five dollars a month i'll see you over there all right peace